Hi, this is Chris and Caitlin from Vell Health, and we're here to give another update on COVID-19 and what we're seeing right now and what we're planning for in the future. Caitlin, there's news out of both China and New York City about increases in COVID. Tell us a little bit about both situations and what we're watching here. Great question. So in China, they had a lot of changes to the restrictions and their processes. So a lot of people there are suffering with the same disease um, that we kind of saw last January and last December. The other situation that's going out right now in the East Coast in New York, a lot around New York City, is something called the XBB 1.5 variant. And that's something that we really found in the United States and something that's driving up cases in that part, that part of the US. So two separate issues. We are definitely watching what's going on in China because it's a huge uh, amount of people, 1.4 billion people, I think, live in China, rapidly becoming infected over a short period of time. So it's something we're watching. However, the variant that we're concerned with locally is actually homegrown, if you will, or, or started here probably in the United States. It's called XBB 1.5, right? Yep, and so, it's another type of the Omicron variant. Okay. So the reason we're concerned about this one is because it's spreading really rapidly in the Northeast, okay. and typically that then you know takes over the other variants in the United States. Yeah. So a little bit about the XBB 1.5. What are a couple characteristics about it that have got our attention? So some preliminary studies suggest that it spreads faster and more easily than the previous Omicron variant that we saw in our community um, that was really heavy in January and December last year. Great, so we're watching it. What should we expect in terms of cases locally? In the next few weeks, will we start seeing probably more cases locally? Is that your thought? Typically, that's what we see. We discover here in Vail that we see a lot of um, changes that track with that part of the United States just because we have so many travelers within our community. So we're often the first in Colorado to see new things emerge like that. Great. So we're watching a couple outbreaks, one in China, one here locally in the United States. We believe the one here in the US with XBB 1.5 will certainly make its way to our community if it's not already here um, because of travel. So what could folks do now to kind of prepare for another wave of COVID? Great question. So what they're seeing with this new variant isn't necessarily more severe illness, but since it spreads faster, it's just a lot of illness at the same time. Yeah. So doing those things like keeping healthy, making sure you're staying healthy. Um, if you're at a higher risk, wearing a high quality mask and N95 yeah. outside and especially in big crowds, you know, taking care of your family, making sure everyone's healthy there. Um, and then being proactive about, you know, getting some home tests. They have a federal program where you can get home tests and they're available for free at many locations throughout the county. Right. And one more thing is to get your booster if you haven't got Got it, the bivalent booster, correct? Absolutely, the new yeah. booster, if you haven't had one since September, get a new one, yeah. um, get the most recent one that offers that does offer some protection against this new variant and is the best way to keep keep yourself healthy and out of, out of the office. Great, we want you to stay healthy and stay informed and we'll keep you updated as we learn more. Thanks.